Today we're going to cover volume of three-dimensional shapes. Our essential question is when and how would knowing volume be useful? The first thing we're going to go over are prisms and cylinders. In volume, they're grouped, just like an area how I showed you that they were similar, um, but because circumference can't be called perimeter, they do have separate formulas, even though they're actually really the same formula. Um, in volume, since we use areas, um, we only use big B, we don't use big P, um, they group them together. So prisms and cylinders are done together. So here are two examples. I'm not going to go over exactly how to draw them because I did that in 11.1. Feel free to go back and watch that if you need to know how to draw them. Um, so the first thing we're going to need is big B, which is the area of your base, which in this case, my base is a triangle. And it looks like this. And yes, I give you the two sides also, but you don't need that to find the area of the base. So remember the area of a triangle is half the base of that triangle times the height. So it's half the base of my triangle is two times the height is three. And half of two is one and one times three is three centimeters squared is the area of my base. And then the height of my prism is this part right here, which is 10 centimeters. So to find the volume, you multiply 3 times 10, which is 30 centimeters, and it is cubed because volume is three-dimensional. You're, you're finding the inside of a three-dimensional object, and so your um, units must be cubed. Um, so on a cylinder, your base is a circle. So the, to find the area of my base, that's pi r squared, or pi times 2 squared for this circle, which is just 4 pi um, inches squared is the area of that base. And then my height is 5. So to find the volume, we do 5 times 4 pi, which is 20 pi, or you multiply times the pi which 20 pi is 62.83 and inches cubed for the volume. Um, if you are in my level classes, so first, um, sixth or seventh, you can choose which one of these you wanna do. If you're in my pre-IB class, you must give me both for all circular objects. Um, if it's not circular, of course, we don't have pi, so you don't have to worry about it. Now we're gonna cover pyramids and cones. So here are two examples. Um, you only need the area of the base and the height for these. You do not need slant height. Remember that slant height is used for surface area on cones and pyramids. So we only actually need the height. Um, so my base for this one is a square. So the area of my base is just 6 times 6, which is 36 yards squared. And the height of this pyramid, remember that's if you were doing the um, Mission Impossible, you were hanging down the very middle of the pyramid. So 4 yards is my height. And then for volume, you do 1 third, the area of your base, which is 36, times your height, which is 4. And you can put all this in your calculator. The one third would just be open parentheses and one divided by three, like that, times 36 times four, which is 48 yards cubed. And that's your pyramid. The base of your cone is a circle. That is a circle with a radius of five. So the area of my base is pi r squared, or pi 5 squared, which means the area of your base is 25 pi feet squared. Um, the height of my cone is if you jammed a pencil right down the middle of it, um, which would be 12 feet. So my volume is 1 third times 25 times 12. When you put it all in your calculator, it equals 100 pi. Don't forget your pi. I forgot pi. So it's 100 pi or 314.16. So 
So 314.16 feet cubed is the volume for my cone. And lastly, we're going to do a sphere. Here's our example sphere problem. Um, all you need is radius. So your volume is 4 thirds times pi times 40 cubed, or your radius cubed. So let's put that in our calculator. So 4 thirds is 4 divided by 3, always put fractions in parentheses, times 40, and then to do to the power of 3, you use this button right here. And all that does, it'll raise any number up. Um, if you're using one of my calculators, it'll usually put the little number up here. Um, but sometimes it'll give you the little, we call this a carrot. So 40 raised to the third power. And that means it's 85,333 and a third pi. Or, and then multiply it out times pi. So it's 268,082.57 miles cubed. Now make sure you go to the bottom and write your summary and notes will be finished.